In this video, I'll discuss the bar design tips and ideas to build your own do-it-yourself LED backlit bar and how much it costs. Coming up. Rick Usbell again from Cabaret Design Group, where I share my ideas and tips on bar design, draft beer system design, and product reviews. Later in this video, I'll give you today's takeaway. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and check out the show notes and links in the YouTube description below. Now let's jump into the show. Recognize the concept in this photo? One of the top questions I'm asked is how to design and build an LED backlit bar. People are fascinated by commercial lighting, especially when it comes to backlighting a bar front. Backlit bars create major wow factor, and therefore the design concepts for doing this are tightly held until now. The first thing to know about LED backlit bar design is that it can be retrofitted to nearly any existing bar. The critical design criteria are as follows. Number one, lighting mounting tracks. As shown in this architectural drawing, the tracks are mounted continuously along the top and bottom edges of the curtain wall and provide a simple method of installing the LED lighting. The Cluse 45 ALU series LED angular extrusion shown here is available through superbrightleds.com. For those who are creative, a 3 quarter inch by 3 quarter inch PVC strip will do the same job at a fraction of the cost. Number two, the RGB LED strip lighting as shown here, such as this model by superbrightleds.com. The lighting is installed continuously along the top and bottom edges of the curtain wall. The lighting should contain 30 SMD type LEDs per meter. Number three, lighting controls. Controllers, power supplies, and miscellaneous cables will be necessary and are available also at superbrightleds.com. Number four, translucent curtain wall. As shown here in section and here in elevation, this is the main ingredient of the secret sauce that makes the lighting effective. The best value solution are the Luma Onyx panels offered by Lumagraph, which consists of macrolon sheets laminated with thin layers of translucent film designed to evenly disperse the light. I recommend 3A stick panels for all bar fronts. Item 5 Curtain Wall Mounting Angles. As shown in this plan, the curtain wall is mounted to a simple half inch by half inch by 16th inch anodized aluminum angle mounted continuously along its top and bottom edges. Mount the angles so there is 2 inches of clearance to the inside face of the curtain wall. Item 6 Mounting tape, shown here in section. Hands down, the best solution for installing the curtain wall to the mounting angles is to use 3M VHB 4950 double face tape, a half inch wide. The best place to buy this tape is at Uline. And number seven, caulk. Apply clear silicone caulk to all vertical butt joints, as shown in this elevation. Lastly, the curtain wall should sit about 7 inches above the finished floor. For bars with solid footrests, simply install the bottom mounting angle to the top of the footrest. For bars without a solid footrest, such as this one, install a 7 inch by 2 inch toe kick before proceeding. So how much does it cost to build an LED backlit bar? Here's a cost summary of all the above hardware necessary to build your own backlit bar. The best RGB LED lighting for backlighting bars is a 50-50 waterproof strip with 30 SMD LEDs per meter rated at 900 lumens and 7.2 watts. See you next time.